The USAID Strengthening Advocacy and Civic Engagement SAIS project is a five-year project focused on strengthening civil society capacity to influence reforms around transparency, accountability and good governance nationally and at sub-national levels in Nigeria. The project has three key objectives, building capacity, strengthening engagement with Government of Nigeria stakeholders and building a groundswell of public awareness that will enable the project to achieve its objectives. The introduction and adoption and implementation of bills, policies and administrative reforms has greatly improved the lives of Nigerians. When citizens are engaged in inclusive participatory governance, they have a say in developing policies, service delivery and budgeting therefore strengthening democratic systems. This improved system of governance is one of the positive outcomes of the USAID Strengthening Advocacy and Civic Engagement SAIS project. The USAID SAIS project has collaborated with 18 core partners, working within policy clusters, reaching over 200 civil society organizations across Nigeria on governance issues. To improve the policy making and implementation process of governance, the SACE project utilized a series of tools and procedures like the System for Transformation and Results. Since 2014, the project has recorded over 60 policy outcomes working in 75 governance areas. We're in a complex world and because of that CSOs are constantly engaging and trying to solve the stickiest problems such as government accountability and citizen participation. In her five years of existence, the SACE project has helped to strengthen good governance in Nigeria, affecting key sectors that impact the lives of Nigerians. Well, with the support of the USAID SACE project, since like I've been able to successfully advocate for the internal restructuring of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, which is the major oil company, to have its internal divisions clearly demarcated and make, so that they can be more publicly accountable and make information available for citizens. With the support from SIS and USAID, our engagement with NDDC have led to disclosures of reports online. Our work in the region led to the establishment of the independent NDDC CSO monitoring group with an age. The greatest achievement for us, as it is for now, is that the FCT education sector now has people with disabilities who are teachers within that sector. We facilitated the drawdown of UBE matching grants by Lagos, Kano, Enugu, Eboin, and Federal Capital Territory. Then we also engaged uh, UBEC on the release of UBE action plans across the state we are working. During the process of our work, we are able to influence the declaration of state of emergency in two states of the Northeast, that's precisely Bauchi State and Adamawa State, and also uh, the, uh, the establishment of the Northeast Development Commission. In other states, the state government created a line item um, called Agro Women Initiative. Um, in the Ondo State uh, budget for uh, 2018, um, and specifically to support small urban women farmers in the state. Uh, our work has helped in increasing female representation and also in ensuring that they get access to credit facilities. The Delta State Government increased the budgetary allocation to agri sector from about 550 million to 1.67 billionaire and that is a very good thing for us because to us in the aquaculture sector in particular we believe we are going to get more intervention from the government than what we are getting before in the aquaculture sector. I don't say Company Farmers Agency is the only civil society led group in Edo State working with the Edo State government led uh, 
drafting committee on the agri policy. And by the grace of God, by the end of 2018, before, before the end of 2018, the governor is going to sign it. As CSG, we contributed a lot to the advocacy for the implementation of the Basic Health Care Fund, Provision Fund, which is 1% of the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federal Government. We are also instrumental to the drafting of the Nigerian Immunization Trust Fund Bill, which has now been drafted and is now before the legislature. With uh, contribution from our cluster in Kaduna, yes, we have the health uh, contributory scheme passed, the law, and in Kasuna State, we have the primary health care under one roof law passed. Now, with the support of the USIG SES project, the businesswomen cluster has, uh, has worked with two pilot local government areas to be able to, de to develop an informal sector tax policy that would take away multiple taxation and tax injustice. As a result of our engagement so far, Delta states and Kwaibon states now have their budgets routinely available online. And this is the first step to transparency and accountability. Some years ago, we started um, an advocacy campaign and we were asking the government to allocate 10% of the 13% early revision fund to set up a youth development fund. This has culminated into a bill which is currently in the Akwaibom State House of Assembly awaiting assent by the governor. With funding from the USID SES project, and for the first time, Bayasa State now has a Central Peace Working Committee made up of security agencies government representatives, particularly the Office of the Special Advisor to the Governor on Security Matters, community representatives, media houses, and civil society organizations who are determined to address conflict issues before they escalate. The SAIS project also supports the larger governance accountability ecosystem through other ways such as engaging the entertainment sector through its work with Home Vida and the Nigeria Integrity Film Awards promoting civic and legislative space by supporting work around open governance partnership and open civil society space. Creating learning events through the support to Enough is Enough Nigeria at Social Media Week. Introduce innovative platforms under its innovation and spread the word fund. Good governance is at the heart of Nigeria's future. That's what will guarantee the way in which all our resources come together to achieve our developmental objectives in an inclusive manner that ensures transparency and accountability. With the support of USAID and PIND, we've been able to run a really impressive program that has contributed to that journey, progressing towards transparency and accountability. As this project draws to a close, we're confident that the work that our partners have done and that we have done will contribute significantly as Nigeria journeys towards good governance.